Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let us see another interesting interview question. So let's say there are two regions. First one is, let's say it is a Mumbai region. Let's say it is a Mumbai region. And coming to second one, let's say it is a Hyderabad region. So now the question is, I hosted one of my server in, I hosted one of my server in Mumbai region. Let's say this is one of my server where I hosted it in this availability zone. Let's say one server is present here. That is one EC2 instance is present here in one of the data center of this availability zone. Now, the another. So once our or else you can say one EC2 instance is present in it, present in one availability zone. Okay, now again, the another server which is present here. One server is present in Mumbai region and my another server is present at where? In Hyderabad region. So now my question is that. So now my question is, by default, by default, is there any networking present between these two EC2 instances? One EC2 instance is created in Mumbai region and another EC2 instance is created in Hyderabad region. Is there any default networking which is present in between these two EC2 instances? The answer is no. Since the regions are different, the regions are different. By default, any networking is not present in between them. By default, any networking is not present in between them. Let's say now I have a requirement that I want to have a co communication between this EC2 instance and this EC2 instance. What are the EC2 instance which is present in Mumbai region and what are the EC2 instance which is present in Hyderabad region? I want a communication between them. How do I can provide the communication between them? You can provide the communication between those two by using by using a connectivity which is in EC2. We can provide the connectivity between two regions. We can provide connectivity between two regions by using by using VPC pairing concept. What is that? VPC pairing concept. By using VPC pairing, we can connect different regions. This is one region and this is another region, right? We can connect those two regions by using VPC pairing. After VPC pairing, we can able to provide communication between the servers which are present in different regions. So I hope you understood how can you provide the communication between two servers in different region. By default, there is no communication or networking present. If you want to provide communication or networking in between them, then you need to provide a VPC pairing connection in between them. So what is this VPC pairing, sir? I will tell you about this in future video. But this is something service in that way you can remember in AWS cloud so that it is used to connect between two regions. This VPC pairing is used to connect between two regions, availability zones, or else you can say data centers. Two regions connectivity is done by using this VPC pairing. By doing this, we can able to 
provide communication or networking between any two data centers which are present in different regions right yeah so by using this vpc pairing we are providing connectivity between different uh, mm, connectivity between servers or data centers or availability zones or regions in between two regions in between two regions we are providing the connectivity by using vpc query i hope you understood this video if you understood this video please like share subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates thanks for watching see you back in the next video until then bye bye